new kids, and no dad. Come on, you two. Lose the long faces. Tommy. Jet. Let's go. Hey, Tommy. What do you think the kids are like here? I don't know, and I don't care. Before you were born, the world had been waiting for you. To realize your fate and drift in the watchman's canoe. Now it all lives in found peace in nature. It was my go-to happy place. Children! Children! Settle down. We have two new students joining us today. Sit right there. And you, young lady, right over here. My name is Sister Mary. Now you introduce yourself. Okay. Um, hi. M my name is, my, my name is Jet. Like an airplane? <laughs> New girl. You're so white. Hey, you're see through. <laughs> Run away, Jet. Just <laughs> 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 Your turn to drive. Get over here. Come on. All you gotta do is keep it between the lines.
you. What? She did great. Mom's right. You do have a speck the size of Texas on your brain. If you're going to continue to hurt yourself, so be it. But don't take the kids with you. Leave me alone. It was at that moment that I gave up on Dad. All right, out with it. Come on, spill the beans. People around here don't like Jet. What do you mean? Of course they do. Sometimes it just takes people a little while to get to know each other, that's all. Continue reading. Let's get out our tablets and pencils. Write the alphabet as you see it on the blackboard. There is no writing with your left hand yet. It isn't proper. Choose your battles, Tommy boy. There we go. Now start from the beginning. You must finish before you are allowed to go to lunch. You may be excused. You're excused. You boys are excused.
clown. We don't belong here. This is where you belong. Hide. Don't let anyone see you. Cause this, this is your home. Oh, hello. Guardian Spirit Dance. You're never there for me, especially, especially when I need you. Hey, you too. What can you hear? Listen, you can hear the sun. You may start. Might as well sleep in the bushes and trees. You spend all your time there. That's not true. I spend plenty of time all around the rest. All trees. Do not do to. Hey, 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 hey. Jesus, no, what does your mother say? Stop, 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 stop it. Gotcha. here with me. Jet, you need to learn to feed yourself. Fish are here to be our food. But it just doesn't feel right. 
Fishy, fishy, fishy. Stop that. Fishy, put it fishy, down, put it down before fishy, I drop fishy, it. Fishy, fishy, put it down. Do you want to eat dinner or not? No thanks. More for us, huh, Tommy? Yeah. As a, as a bird. Okay, kids, it's time to go. Here, Jeff, this is for you. Someday you'll thank me for this. Protect our house and our garden. Thank you. been the worst school year. The bullies had made sure of it by teasing me relentlessly every single day. reply frightened me at first. It was only the beginning of Mother Earth speaking back to me. I could understand what she was telling me. Uncle Ralph the Watchman knew it too. It was later told to me that he went straight to tell the medicine man, who only spoke in his native tongue, and his nephew, the interpreter. Watchman is here. The wind, the animals, the trees and the plants move in the way only of a watchman. That's not possible. No one has moved the earth beings like that for many years. No. I saw it. 
I saw it with my own eyes. We will ask the colors of truth. I knew it. I knew it was her. Her? Yes. She's maybe nine, ten. I cannot be. I will never be. Elder. All people, you must understand. You must understand. I'm off to campus. There's a pimento cheese sandwich on the counter and a list of chores you need to get done before your Graham and Cousin Petey arrive. Chores? I want to do chores. Crabs. Hello? It's okay, it's me. How you doing? <laughs> me too. Well, nice seeing you. Remember, hide from the humans. Except for me.
Uncle Ralph would stand on the cliffs and docks for hours gazing out to sea. Hi there. Hi. How are you doing? I guess that's what a watchman does. Did you ask the fog what she thinks? I didn't know that she had a voice. She does. Like all living things. Fog is one of the few places beyond the great cave where all living things can come together. Equal is one. There's comfort in the fog. She is like a blanket. Animals, plants, and trees know it too. to get this hair done. I see some sugar under that chin. Come on, honey. Tommy! Tommy! Hi, Tommy. cowboy! You have grown into a fine <laughs> young man. Mom, mom, Can I steal some of that sugar? Mom. Oh, Tommy. Please, please, please. in my room? Yes. Yes. Yes! Yay! Oh. Come on, I'll show you! Oh, Oni. Oh, no. It's so good to see you. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hey, let's go take a closer look at this guy's canoe. Canoe? What canoe? Here. Whoa. Let's go. Great Spirit spoke to me this morning. The voice came on the water, lifted through the air by the orca. The eagle took the words and spread them across the water and land. This one here needs your help to restore her to her natural beauty. In turn, someday, she will help you. Shh. Gee whiz, Petey. I'm sorry, Jet. There are twigs everywhere. Who goes there? Speak now. We brought you a peace offering of fudgesicles. We thought, well, maybe in exchange you could let us join the fort gang. Friends. Yeah! 
was close. I couldn't understand why the wind, plants, and trees didn't help us on the day that Dad died. Why didn't you help us? Wait, who are you talking to? Why? Dad! I think there's something wrong with the brakes! They're fine, Jet! There's smoke! I think they're broken! learn the right time and where to ask. I understood what Uncle Rob was telling me. It is a knowing and understanding that we are part of everything and everything is part of us. We are all one. Getting tired. Men, three steps to the left. Nope. Still not a great view. Men, three steps to the right. Perfect. Pity. Why do you allow yourselves to fear those boys? That guy has eyes in the back of his head. Not him, that island. Oh, that? That's Witch's Island. Yeah, my dad told me about it. Said we should never go there. Why? Duh, Dingleberry, it's Witch's Island. What else do you need to know? My dad said it's treacherous. How would he know? You don't even know what that word means. Yeah, and even if 
you make it to shore, there's no way to get off the island unless the witch decides. Only she can show you. That is even more ridiculous. Petey, I have an idea. What's that you have there, Jet? Think fast! Get her! Come on, guys! Go, go, go! She's right around yeah. here somewhere. This is impossible. She hasn't been to the island to speak with the Great Elder, or even entered the cave. You're wrong. Women have always been able to see, hear, and heal. It's time we all remember that. After the truth Uncle Ralph shared, I felt sorry for the medicine man. Maybe he was lost between worlds, just like me. now 
Are you okay, sweetheart? Does it look like I'm okay? Everything's falling apart. Maybe this was a bad idea. You have to go. It is work. I know. It's just that I haven't been away from the kids since Thomas. And I'm, I'm just worried to leave, that's all. Things will get better, Oni. The kids will work it out. They'll find their way. I know. Besides, we're gonna have a ball. It's summer break. I'm here. What could possibly go wrong? You're not making me feel any better about this trip, Mom. You gotta go. You could lose your job if you don't. Is she okay? Yes, I think so. She's just upset she has to take this trip away from the kids. She'll be okay. She's a chase after all. Get in. Gently. Is it true these canoes are made out of a single tree? Cedar. In our country. What did you learn from the medicine man? I'm not sure. Deep down I knew there was something I needed to do. I had to find the great elder. And Thunderbird, that canoe we were sitting in, was going to take me there. You have a lot to learn about the water before you attempt to travel on there. Come on, let's walk over to my house. I'll tell you more of our stories <laughs> while I fix those glasses. Wow. They're perfect. Thanks, Uncle Ralph. You're welcome. Thank you so kindly, Ralph. You're welcome, too. What does a watchman actually do? Keeps watch over the village and out to the ocean and beyond. A protector, a teacher. You have to be able to understand all animal, plants, and water languages and be able to understand all movement. I've heard it said that the Watchmen has supernatural powers and that they can hear and see in all directions at once. And that they can get information from plants, animals, wind, waters, land. Yes, but that's only half of it. The Watchman guides the new Watchman too. And they share the secrets of the Great Elder, who speaks on behalf of Mother Earth. So, I have shared a few of our stories, and I will share many more with you throughout the summer. Where's Cougar? 
point. Have you ever been to Witch's Island? I love your stories. Cougar Point is us up the beach. Witch's Island is a very powerful and sacred place. And off limits. Whoa, these are huge. Petey, you have to see this. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> it's Witch's Island. That is where the Great Elder is. Let's get some binoculars so we can see better. Hey, they just ran into your house. Give me that. You're spoiling the fun as usual. Men, pack up. We've got us some hunting to do. Come on, Peony, I'll help you. We're almost to the beach. We're safe. We're coming after us still. Instead of asking for help, this time I thanked the wind, trees, bushes, and animals. They moved for me like I had never seen before. It felt like magic. Jet! Oh, Jet! We know you're out there. The dumb wind gave you away. What do you want? Well, let me think. I got it. After much consideration, we've decided that you must go to Witch's Island. You must bring back items from the island. But wait, you must also bring back items from the witch. But that's not fair. 
She can't go to Witch's Island alone. It's too dangerous. Just get in your little canoe and paddle as hard as your little arms can. Oh, that's not cool, man. That is not cool. Fine. If we go to Witch's Island and get all that stuff that you want, Petey and I assume control of this fort. Okay, we will release Petey for now, but you must report for duty. You now work for us. Dad's camping stuff is down here somewhere. Jet, I'm scared. We don't know what we're doing. Besides, even if we do, I still don't think this is a good idea. In general, I mean. Here. See? We have everything we need. Don't worry, Petey. I have to find the Great Elder. I suppose. It is just a camping trip, right? Yeah. I still think... Wait! I'll grab sandwiches. Let's go. way, way bigger than us. This is your doing. Why couldn't you listen? You alienate everyone with your own beliefs and judgments. You push too far, too soon. With that, Uncle Ralph finally told the medicine man what he had wanted to since being sent to Witch's Island so many years ago. Mother Earth intervened, sending her hand, the Great Elder, to help guide the frightened young Ralph.
I'm sure it'll come in soon. We all did stuff like this as kids. It's what summers are for. I suppose you're right. I just wish they would have checked in with me first, that's all. He's not a witch. It's highly improbable, for no one has ever proven that witches ever existed. There are many discussions regarding this, but usually it comes down to... Enough already! I just want to eat in silence. Fine, have it your way. Yeah.
Hey there, Ralph. Hey, man. Visit this time, Ralph. See another warning from the sky? Or let me guess. You want to have another clam bake at the beach? Or maybe fix some old canoes? Seriously, man. You may not like this. Um, my canoe's gone. The kids are missing. We'll head over right now. Dang, this really itches, Jet. I know. Mud! Dip our hands in the water, and then rub dirt on them. All right. Okay, that should help. We have to get going. Why? We have to find the Great Elder. Let's split up. Jet, that may not be a very good idea. There are animals and who knows what else. It's okay. Just stay near the water's edge so I can find your tracks. Jet, I don't have a good feeling about this. We'll be okay. I'll find you. Looks like you've caught some poison oak. <sighs> Got some treasure. It's a thunderbird. I know we should take care of that for you. Got some potion at the cabin. It's gonna get worse. Let's go. Look, those welts are gonna get real bad. I don't bite. But I think the cougars do. I walked for what seemed like hours in search of the Great Elder. And finally, there she was. She was sacred and adorned with the most beautiful shells and eagle feathers. finally found her. But now what?
What is all this stuff? A novel that I'm working on. You're a writer. You're not a witch. A witch? Not a witch. I suspected so. I like to come here to write. So I can get away and... Well, let's just say, I like being alone. A witch. The kids all said you're a witch. Why? Probably because you live on Witch's Island. <laughs> Witch's Island. <laughs> uh, looks like your friends have made a lot of assumptions. Except I said all the kids, not my friends, so... So what are you trying to say? You don't have friends? One. <laughs> really? Who's that? Jet. Jet? It's a cool name. Here, you can do it yourself. storm came out of nowhere. I figured as long as I was with the Great Elder, I was safe. Hey. It's okay. The summer storms don't last long. What's wrong? My cousin, Jet. She's out there somewhere. I'll be back. How come you guys came out here by yourselves? The Forking Boys dared us. Who? You know, the Forking Boys. They built the coolest forts. So basically you were bullied to coming out here. Just... We have to earn it before we're accepted. Jet also has to visit the Great Elder. The Great Elder? <laughs> we heard the medicine man say so. Why? He doesn't believe about the Watchman or about Jet. Really? Well, Petey, I'm gonna have to ask you to be brave for me. I need you to close your eyes. And when you wake, I will have your cousin here. They 
They found Uncle Ralph's canoe, Thunderbird, adrift between islands with two life jackets floating nearby. like a drowning incident. You check which is island? No sign of them there either. No one would listen to Uncle Ralph. Most people didn't believe in the traditions of the tribe anymore. He was the only one who thought we were still alive. And we were, for the moment. boys may have noticed one of your cohorts is not here today. That's because he's found himself extremely grounded by me. Y'all are in big, big trouble. Best be getting on home. Now! Get! I'm home! Good golly, that was a long, drawn out... Someone please tell me. Mom? Where's Jet? Where's Jet? Mom! Isn't this a little premature? Just stop, Ralph. Nobody believes in that stuff anymore. The watchman, the boogeyman, the medicine man, whatever you want to call it. Those are the old days. 
You're wrong. us if we go right now. Let's go. Leaving no. without saying goodbye? No. No. It, it's just our gram. She'll be really worried. We don't want to do that to her. I understand. But you and I need to have a talk. Okay. I hear you have a connection with Mother Earth and you've been searching outside for the Great Elder. What? The Great Elder? It's in here with you always. She's told me who you are. What? But with your knowledge comes teachings. You understand? Is there anything you see in here that you like? yours. It's mine? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You shouldn't worry about proving yourself to others in order for them to accept you. The best you can do is learn to listen. Speak the truth, love the world and all the people on it. That acceptance 
It's right here. You know, you can choose to be whoever you want to be. That choice is yours. And yours alone. You promise you'll listen? Yes. And not judge? Yes. Always look and search for the truth. Because the truth will always come forward. Let's get you home. I felt like I could see all the way across the water right into Uncle Ralph's eyes. I know you're there. Something told me that this was his necklace, and he stood right here before. Remember, believe. everything I learned from the Great Elder and Uncle Ralph.
I'll go get help. As I swam away from Petey, I thanked the water, Mother Earth, and the embrace of the fog. He was right. I did find comfort in the fog. I felt no fear.
That summer, we learned how to believe again. It became the legend of the Watchman's Canoe. I'm on your side 